anyone who's ever tried to cancel anything knows that it's a big pain in the butt. What you're about to see is my attempt to cancel DirecTV over the course of three different phone calls. It took, I don't know, I'd say a good hour and a half. So I'll do my best to edit. Our whole generation doesn't need it. It's garbage. It's unnecessary. They refuse to disintermediate their packages. And, oh yeah, I bought my equipment on eBay, so something tells me they're going to do their very best to get me not to cancel, and then they're going to threaten me. But we'll see. Figured I might as well archive it. Okay, so to cancel, 800. Station. A representative will be with you shortly. Biggest lie ever. Oh no, I don't want to cancel. It's just going to keep me on hold for so long that I don't I don't even remember why I called. It's like the movie theaters when you're, you watch so many previews that you forget why exactly you ended up, or which movie you ended up going to. That always happens to me. That and if I don't want to see the movie, I don't want to see the preview. And if I do want to see the movie, I do want to see. I don't want to see the preview. Either way, I don't want to see the preview. Please continue to hold. We are making every effort to I answer your call you as quickly are. as possible while providing the best possible service to all of our customers. Oh, Thank you for choosing Direct TV. Non sequitur answer. Spoken kindly but firmly. I'm so suggestible. All this happy music and stuff I can do with Direct TV. Oh, boring. On hold time. Takes too long. 17 minutes. Could make a list of a hundred things that I can do in less than 17 minutes. Please wait. Oh, that's all I'm doing. To be completed, please hang up and dial the toll free number again. Are you profanity? Are you kidding? Let's call him back. Thank you for calling Direct TV. My name is Jenna, and how are you tonight? I'm great. How are you, Jenna? Well, I'm doing just fine. Thank you for asking. I don't. Am I speaking with Mr. Is it Mr. Bech? Bech. It's okay. Close enough. Oh, sorry. Sorry. It's a, I guess I don't know. It's a white girl in me saying things wrong. But um, sorry about that, Mr. Bech. But I do see you have been a customer of ours since 2010, and we definitely do appreciate your business here. How can I help you out with the account here tonight? No, I'm sure it says on your screen, I just paid the balance. I thought I had canceled this account, but it looks like I didn't. So I paid the bill, and now I need to cancel. I own the equipment, so this should be pretty simple. Famous last words. I am never saying that again on the phone. Okay. All right. Well, I can see you own your equipment. Um, what's going on that's making you want to cancel, though? The Internet is better than DirecTV. Oh, okay. All right, so you watch things on, like, the, the internet websites and that kind of thing, or...? Pretty much. It's all streaming digital media, and I know DirecTV is all digital and all that good stuff, but when you don't turn the box on for three months in a row, there's just no more need for it. Okay. Well, yeah, I can understand that. Um, I know a lot of people find the internet to be convenient nowadays. Um, as far as, as far as it's concerned, I know sometimes you have to wait a little bit of time to get things to come off of the internet for you, though. Oh, with us, obviously, it shows up when it gets shown on, on regular channels. Oh, like, no, I, I'm just downright don't watch TV. I'm not watching TV on the internet. I'm oh. just not watching TV. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I misunderstood you, Mr. Beige. Let me guess. The white girl in you misunderstood me. All right. Well, I guess that makes it even more useless for you, huh? So, well, that's too bad. I'm sorry to hear you're not, you're not really watching it. And obviously it's not a time thing because you have a DVR, so you can record everything if you wanted to watch it. So, All right. Well, um... Cause yeah. No, actually, she found something in the retention script, and I swatted it down. Oh, okay. Well, I can understand your, your concern there. Uh, you did pay through this, the 8th of uh, February. So basically what's going to happen is if I submit the disconnection, it's going to disconnect at midnight tonight. Um, after it disconnects out for you, it's going to end up prorating back to the account. Uh, so you're probably, for whatever you've um, overpaid, it's going to get basically a show up as a credit on the account. If only it would have been that simple, but it wasn't. After the disconnection happens.
So DirecTV sends me a check. Is that the idea? Um, I guess essentially, it's the one thing it's showing me there's an agreement on the account, but... <sighs> All that time that I spent on the phone setting this up, you think there's an agreement on the account? The agreement doesn't exist. I bought my equipment on eBay. Opa, take that! Yeah, that's that's kind of why I'm I'm kind of confused about it. <laughs> so, give me a second. Let me look a little further into it for you, real quick. Okay. All right, Mr. Beach. Um, what I'm gonna need to do actually is I need to get on the other line with another rep over here in our access card distribution team. Distribution team. Is that Spanish for decision maker? Because right now, um, that receiver that we're referring to is showing up as leased on three other accounts. Your record keeping skills are amazing. Oh, Not that's that cool. Active, but it's just showing it as leased, so technically you probably weren't supposed to be able to buy it off of AV. Oh, no, um, no, 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 no. I cleared it. I'm absolutely sure that I own it. Yeah. Well, um, that's what I'm going to see, like what they tell me right now, because... Um, they're the ones that control that kind of thing, and it's, if that's what we need to do, then we'll get everything cleared up. Do not anger the decision makers. So, just bear with me here. You'll only be on hold here for a moment. If it's going to be a while, I'll, I'll keep checking in on you, okay? It's all right. Get it done. Uh, thank you, Mr. Reese. Just one moment. All right, Mr. Reese. What's up? Hi. All right, so I have the other rep looking into it for us right now. So he just needs a little bit of time to do his thing, and um, I'll let you know what happens here in just a moment, okay? Works for me. All right, Mr. Beach. Yo. Okay, so um, it is owned, um, and you should have a commitment. So we're good. <laughs> so that's what I thought was going to happen. Let me get this straight. The white girl in you thought that the white guy in me had leased the receiver to three different people, but now that the decision makers were involved, all is well. Get it verified over there for you. So um, I guess let's continue. Ignore the commitment. Don't worry about that. I'll get that waived for you. Really, Mr. Bond? That'll make sense in a couple minutes. Now, for the, for the account, if you have any unbilled pay-per-views or equipment non-return fees, um, those can take up to three months or longer to apply if they even apply for you at all. Nope, none. Uh, all right, then you shouldn't need to worry. Oh, especially not about the equipment on return fees. So just pretend I didn't even see It's that. okay. You get uh, into a pattern. I I know how it goes. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh. All right, thanks for understanding. <laughs> and also, um, if for some reason there is an outstanding balance on the account, after D20 is a disconnect, um, those do automatically apply towards any debit or credit cards that's on file. Um, it's assuming you even have an outstanding balance, which you shouldn't because you just paid it. So... Uh, all right. Well, Mr. Reese, I've got everything set up for you. Um, it's going to be officially disconnected here by midnight tonight. And at this time, was there any other questions you might have had for me here today? Very least, I, I don't know why everyone doesn't do this, but I guess I should tell you, this call may be monitored by me and recorded for my archival purposes, because <laughs> I don't know. Because spending hours of my young adult life on the phone with you guys Gets me so excited. No, I don't have any questions. Um, that's that. Thank you very much. Direct TV was fantastic. Did you hear how convincingly I just lied? I should go into sales until I realized that I wasn't using it and paying for the stuff you don't use doesn't really make sense. Yeah, well, I understand. Um, I wouldn't want to either. So, well, um, was there any other questions you might have had on the account tonight? You mean the account I just closed? No, that's it. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Well, Mr. Bates, you have a great night, okay? You too. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye. Wow, she was so nice. As I was in, um, I, I don't know if the mic picked it up or not, but I got an incoming call from DirecTV, which was probably a customer service satisfaction survey or something. Actually, that was the office of DirecTV's president calling me while I was on the phone with DirecTV, canceling their service before I'd even disconnected, but live and learn. See, you can fire DirecTV, buy your receiver on eBay, but get the serial number and call DirecTV and make them say, uh, uh. receiver is free and clear. That's the way that I did it and it worked. 
Correction, I thought it worked. I received a bill for an early termination fee. Angry face. Calls recorded for quality. Same here. It's on this account of $95.30. Would you like to make a payment? No. One moment while I transfer you. Please wait. Thanks for calling direct TV. My name is Luigi. Really, Mr. Bond? I am excellent. How are you, Luigi? Uh, I'm you know, being scary, answering phones for direct TV. Thanks for that, Mr. Peach. I pulled up an account, but this one is a disconnected or canceled account. How can I help you? It absolutely was canceled, and it was, was canceled about, I think, a couple of days ago. And I did not have any sort of agreement with DirecTV. And just to be sure that nothing like this would happen, I tape recorded the call. So respect my mad scientist hair! And can, let me see if I can find this for you. Oh, uh, let's see. Yes, Mr. Bash, uh, please continue. Okay. You're looking for something, right? Yeah, I'm looking for the part where she said that I don't have an agreement and DirecTV owes me $45 instead of me owing DirecTV $95.30. How does that factor into your evil plan? So, give me just a moment and I'll find the place in the call. About that, I'll get that waved for you. Oh, there we go. Let's see. Okay, so, um, it is owned, um, and you should have a commitment. So. Did you hear that? We do not have a commitment. Okay, you're saying that you didn't have a commitment, but, uh... Mr. Bash, it seems... It seems that you have become slightly inconvenient. That from my end, you have to be made at your account September 9, 2010, right? I'm not sure, but if that's what it shows, then that's probably right. That's what I can see here from my end. And uh, Mr. Bash, here in DirecTV, every customer is probably under a 24 months or a two-year contract. Meaning to say, you have a commitment or contract with DirecTV up until September 9th of this year, 2012. Every customer has a commitment. So, her saying that Every there is no commitment. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, scary Bond guy. Were you not done speaking? Allow me to just talk over you. Her saying that there is no commitment doesn't mean that there's no commitment. The representative from DirecTV saying that I do not have a commitment in, on this account. See, let me explain to you how a tape recorder works. Is not good enough yeah. proof for you? Actually, uh, Mr. Bash, uh, if I will be the one to answer that uh, question, I will see it is it will not be enough because uh, I'm basing my answer on what I can see here from my end. What you can see on your end, huh? Time to call the decision makers. On my end, the records. When your account was activated, and I can see here that there is a 24 months commitment. Okay, well that's incorrect, so talk to whoever you need to talk to. I'm happy to wait. I'll stand by Mr. Bash, okay? I'm going to uh, check your account further. Thank you. For better assistance, I will, yes. For better assistance, I'm going to connect this call to the, our records department that has all of the records. I've got to go scare people with lasers. For the information regarding the commitments of the the customers, okay? Okay. Stand on, please. Thank you for calling to Right TV, where we strive to provide excellent customer service. My name is Rosary. Who do I have the pleasure of speaking with? Hi, Rosary. My name is Jason Bash. Hi, Jason. How can I help you out today? Well, here's the deal. Okay, you've already heard this before. Skip! The last rep that I was talking to sounded like a combination of Gollum and a Bond villain. Um, she had to check with records to be sure that I, in fact, did not have an account, or I'm sorry, did not have an agreement, and in turn, DirecTV owed me $45 because I paid and then there was a prorated amount, and now I'm seeing an early termination fee bill of $140. Showing that there was an agreement, um, let me go ahead and look back onto your account to see how you actually started up the service. Yeah, please check the notes because it wasn't easy. Essentially, everybody has an agreement. The whole thing is set up so that everyone has to have an agreement. I took the time to get equipment and bought it free and clear. And then, finally, you know, after going through all of that, um, went through and finally got a rep who 
did this without an agreement, and it cost me more per month, but I managed to get it done. So it's in the comments of the account. Okay. Let me take a brief moment. I'm, and I'm sorry, Jason, if, you know, this is an inconvenience for you, having to call back, I'm sure it is. It's, uh, I just want to verify and make sure everything is correct. I will be checking on the call logs here as well, okay? Thank you. And of course, I do appreciate your patience with this. I know that this isn't something you want to do on a Thursday night, <laughs> probably. Oh, um, come on. I love this stuff. Let me tell you, I live to call companies more than once. No, it's okay. Just take a look. I'm sure it's something simple. Let me take a brief glance here. Just a moment, Jason. So you didn't get any discounts, correct? You said... I'm not sure if I got discounts or not. Um, what I am sure of is that it was a month-to-month -month agreement. Thank you so much for holding, Jason. No worries. What's up? I did figure it out for you. Um, took us a little bit of research, but I did get the information I needed uh, since you did purchase the equipment. So let me go ahead and give you the uh, reversal of that or the credit for the cancellation fee. Great. And then I'd like a balance, and I'd like to know when this check will be on its way. Definitely. Give me just a moment here. Oh, and one more thing. You're going to give my radio audience a happy ending after all. Radio audience? In fairness, I said repeatedly that this was going to be tape recorded and then played the tape recording to three different people. Don't worry, you won't be on the air much. Oh, and I forgot to mention, aside from the radio audience, I think I'll just put it on YouTube. No, you're not on the air now. Wow. Yes, all that account information you had to confirm went out over the air. No, 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 no. No, part of what I do on my show is talk about my life. And, you know, this seems to be interesting, so why not? <laughs> okay. To say my name is Rosary. I just told you a recording of this is going to be on the air, and the best you have for me is my name is Rosary. Hi, Rosary. I'm a college degree. Have we met? Okay, that was just mean. But can you blame me at this point? Uh, the account has been, the yearly cancellation fee has been reversed for you, okay? Uh, just a moment here. Be sure that you don't use it. You don't need to send it back if you own the equipment. You can't give it to anybody else, but if you end up wanting direct TV ever again, which I don't think that I ever will, keep in mind, Although the card is the intellectual property of DirecTV, that does not mean that you have to send it back to them. You paid $20 for it when you got it. Bam! Da -na -na -na. Da -na 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 -da.